Hello everybody, this is Deshaun Johnson once again and I'm coming with a video tutorial on how to use the online tool that is Edpuzzle. Now, real quick, what is Edpuzzle? Edpuzzle is nothing more, as I said, but an online tool that allows you to questionize or make a lesson out of any video that you have. And what makes this tool really useful is that instead of having your students just watch a video and at the very end they're answering questions or they've forgotten everything that they watched about the video, you can go ahead and you can assess, quiz, check for understanding, whatever terms you want to use as the video is going, which this tool allows you to insert questions, embed questions into the video as students are watching them to make sure that they're that they're actually watching a video and you can check to see what they're understanding. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. This is an intro video. This is not going to go in depth as far as some of the deep things you can do with this, but how to make a really quick lesson. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in. As I have my own personal account, I am a teacher. All right. If your district already has a Google account or uses Google you may want to just go ahead and click this button but I have my own personal account that I'm just going to go ahead and use here so all right let's log in never all right so from here as you can already see I already have a video set up where I already created my classes I've already used this tool but I'm going to go ahead and just start from the very beginning to just show you how to create your own new content and how to go from there. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my content. All right, we're going to go to create. And before we actually do this, I'm going to actually use this video about volcanoes, introduction to volcanoes. So if I ever wanted to just pull a video off of YouTube, the one thing I wanted to do for personal use, just for class, I'm going to go ahead and copy the share code and use this free online video converter. Okay, we want to just close that off. All right, come down here and use video format MP4. And now I'm going to copy and paste that share code that I just got from that YouTube video here. And I'm going to click start. Make sure that it says MP4 because that's going to be video format. Let this convert. All right. Uh, unfortunately, make sure that you are definitely doing this from the privacy of your own home where you pull videos off as the advertisements can get a bit inappropriate. So we're going to down here. Make sure that is definitely downloading. And while we're waiting on that to download, let's just return back here. All right. So while we're waiting on our video to download, I am going to go ahead and let me go ahead and kind of explain to you some of the other things that you can do with this little tool. So I have classes. So what you want to actually do is you want to go ahead and you want to create a class. And down here you can create any class that you want to or import whatever classes that you already have from Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to add class. And I'm just going to name this class new classroom. And from here, you can assign a video to this class, which is what we're going to do to go ahead and make sure that this is working. All right. While we're waiting on this video to download, I will see you guys in just a little right, bit. It looks like our video is done downloading. So I'm just going to go to my Finder window. I'm doing this from a Mac. Let me go to my downloads. All right. Introduction to Volcanoes. As you can see, it's finished downloading. It's in my downloads folder right here. So now we can go ahead and we can add some new content to this new class that I just created. So let's go back to my content. Let me go to create. All right. I'm going to go to upload video. All right. One gigabyte max is the maximum that you can upload for now. I believe you have to have a premium membership in order to upload more memory than that. If your video is a lot more than that. So we're going to now go to my downloads intro to this. As you can see, it's only 28.3 megabytes. All right. All 
right done okay so here we can actually see that there's a message they have a little bit of humor sense of humor our leprechauns are preparing your video we'll email you when it's ready so we're just going to kind of wait until this is done loading for the moment all right our video is ready to be used so now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just simply click on it okay and it gives us a assortment of menu buttons up here assign and share edit duplicate remove of course right now what we're going to do is we're going to edit this this is where the magic happens this is where you can actually crop and add the questions to the video so i'm going to hit play here all right i had to change the headphone settings so All right, so going back, let me go back. So say for instance, if I wanted to make sure that kids are paying real close attention to detail on this video, I can ask a question about anything. So let me go ahead and let this replay again. stop right there so now the sentence that popped up was earth looks so peaceful from space so what I want to actually do now is I want to insert a question here I don't want to crop anything audio track audio notes quizzes this is the part that you want to go to when you want to quiz your students about what is going on in the video so I want to ask them a question to make sure that they're paid that they're starting to pay attention to what's going on in the video so I'm gonna add quiz part and this will convert this into a green. It's not in the crop area as it was before. Now it's green, which means I can add a question here. So the question I'm going to ask is, what did the sentence say at the beginning of the video? All right, I'm going to make this multiple choice. So I click on this box and I can make this multiple choice and I'm going to make it, of course, traditionally for answers here. All right, I'm gonna make this answer B. Earth looks so peaceful from space. Space looks so peaceful from earth earth is peaceful earth in space is peaceful or let's just what's this last one I can make it earth is great okay we'll just leave it as earth is great now we've added a multiple choice question so that's question number one so once you actually get done adding your answer choices and you're done editing your questions just simply come down here to save and voila you have your first question now once we're done here adding a question we go back okay we go back to crop and we could just let this play all right this question will pop up. We'll go to continue. Now I want to add another question here. Okay, show me how. So I'm going to actually just click on this green box. I already know how to add questions. All right, so now I'm not going to make this multiple choice. I'm just going to leave this as an open-ended question. Okay, explain what you saw at the bottom of the 
explain what you saw at the bottom of the earth. We'll say that at the bottom of the earth. Okay, so and click save. All right, now the students will see an open-ended question. I'm going to extend this box right here so they'll know that they have to give a detailed answer. And I'm going to click continue. Okay. Continue. All right. From here, I'm going to just go ahead and just pause it and just show you the other features. I actually have not used audio track or audio notes at this moment, but I imagine that you could probably use this when you want to just add some notes, insert introductory comment here. All right, so I imagine that right here where it says include audio note, use your microphone. I'm, of course, I'm coming from a Mac, so I'm gonna simply click allow. And I can actually leave an audio commentary right here when the kids come to this point, and I can just maybe ask an audio question. Mm, it's violently hot. How hot do you think this magma or this lava actually is? Just click stop. Okay, now obviously it's an audio note, so maybe you want to add some additional information that's not necessarily present here in the video, of course. I just added a um, question just for the sake of this tutorial. And yeah, this is pretty much Edpuzzle for now. Uh, there's more features to Edpuzzle, but for now in this video, I just wanted to quickly show you how to add content and do that sort of thing. But for now, let's go ahead and let's just click finish. Okay, I'm just going to click finish our leprechauns and it allows you to assign to a new class so I'm going to just click on my new class you can actually prevent the students from skipping a video which comes in handy like by so much because kids will just try to skim through and won't pay attention so it forces the kid to have to really focus on the information that they're visually and, and auditorily consuming and you can also add a due date here so I'm not going to add a do that. I just want to prevent skipping. And I'm going to click assign here. And voila. We now have our video with the two questions and the audio note created here on Introduction to Volcanoes in our new classroom. Um, that is it, you guys, for now. If you have any questions, feel free to feel free to just ask me, shoot me an email. Come see me if you want to learn more about Edpuzzle. It is a wonderful online tool if you're trying to use and make your videos have a, a great academic piece to it. Also, make sure that you get approval for any videos that you want to show in class. And we're not just, I guess, mindlessly, quote unquote, as I quote somebody great here, showing videos to students. All right, Deshaun Johnson out. Peace. God bless.